Hello, I'm Nicolas uh, Van Hemmelreich. That's the way I spell it because I've lived all my life in Colombia, even though my family is from Antwerp. Uh, I'm the, the one of the directors and producers of the film. I work together with Claire Weiskopf, my partner and my wife. Uh, and I'm very happy to be here talking with you. Perfect. Um, before you made the movie, Alice, uh, you did a film workshop there at this, the place where they live. Um, how did the idea for the movie come about? So the origin of this film uh, it was that invitation we got from the Cinematheque in Bogota to give a documentary film workshop in this institution. And the first time they told us who was the workshop, uh, who were the participants, they said they're girls, teenage girls whose families can't uh, take care of them. Some of them have been living on the streets. So we we have two little daughters. So we our first feeling uh, was pity, and we prepared the workshop from there. But then when we went to this place and we met them, well, you just saw the film. We found everything but pity. We found strength, resilience, humor, even innocence, and we understood that that pity was a prejudice we had. It was not something in them, but in us. Yeah. Uh, it was a very challenging experience at the beginning. They didn't uh, wanted to participate, but we had to change all our, our workshop we had prepared. And we got finally their uh, interest. And, and the results were uh, astounding and we wanted to go back. So we looked for ways to uh, get support to give more workshops at this place. Mm -hmm. We went back. We went back over the years to give more more workshops at this place. And when we understood that there could be a film here, we knew we had to explore this thing that had happened to us, explore our prejudice and how this pity can become admiration, that it's really what we feel for these girls. And uh, from where we wanted to make the film, from looking at them with, with admiration and really giving the, us the chance to know them. When you told them about your idea of making the movie, were they excited or did they volunteer or did you have to like convince them? All the, yeah, all the work we do in this place is volunteer. Uh, so the workshop we give, uh, we present them and only the ones that want to participate come. Like we kept going during uh, uh, five years. Uh, they were very engaged with us because they're used to people going, giving a workshop and never going back. So there's a lot of apathy towards this workshop, but they knew our company is called Casa Tarantula. So oh, Casa Tarantula is coming again. And it was the same with the film. We proposed the idea to make the film and only the ones that wanted uh, part to participate did. But our surprise is that all of them wanted to participate. Maybe one or two uh, didn't want to. They knew it was a film, but they never believed it would be a real film that would be screened in cinemas. Uh, like you said, oh yeah, a film. And then when they saw the film, they were super surprised like to see themselves like in a real movie. Yeah, and what was their reaction to it? So, the first audience for the film were the girls. Before the premiere at Berlinale, we had a, a screening in the Cinematic, that it's the best cinema in Colombia, with the girls and the people from the institution and from an NGO we have partnered with. And they were, uh, they had so much fun watching the film. They laughed, they cried. And it was very nice that first time because they thank Alice for allowing them to express things they had never been able to express before. And they were very proud of themselves. These girls, usually no one tells them they're proud of them. So they felt, they said, if the film is this good, it's because of us. So they felt uh, proud of themselves. And that was very nice. After that, they have seen the film a lot of times with audience. And that has been also a very special experience. 
And I was also wondering, to imagining Alice, was it a way to make it easier to insert parts of their own stories or did they- In these stories. Yeah. Yeah, in the workshops we did, uh, we did many exercises. And when we were uh, studying uh, narratives and narrative arc and storytelling, we asked them to write down a story to make up a story for the next class. And these stories they made up were super powerful because even though they started maybe in another country or in a fantasy place, very soon these stories reflected their own universes, their own stories, experiences, traumas, desires, dreams. And they taught us that imagination can really say more about ourselves than our biographies and it can access deeper truths and we felt that if we only asked them about their own story their biography it was a little bit to condemn them to be just what they had been forced to live but if we give them the chance to imagine the story they have the power of deciding where the film is going going, how the story ends, and of course, imagine nobody can imagine what I imagine. It's something that comes from a place that I don't even understand uh, my imagination, but it really speaks about myself. So it gives them the chance to be active in creating the story. It also protects them because we will never know what's true and what's not true. We also wanted to explore the documentary uh, films that are supposed to be truths here, even though there are we can't say what happened and what didn't. We feel that we had access to uh, a deeper truth than, than just uh, facts. Was there a lot of editing involved? Because I can imagine that you filmed for a very long time and then had to choose what you would use. Yeah, well, actually, the shooting was only 12 days, so it was five years of development. And when we went for the shooting, we already knew what we were going to find there and how to look for it. We did a lot of research. Uh, so it was not that much uh, material compared to other documentaries. But of course, the magic came with the editing, because when you watch the film, it's full of tension and it's full of, it's very emotional. And you can feel that the encounters with the girls were like this, but if you watch the raw material, maybe boring, it's not the good word, but it's like nothing much happens. And maybe in the, these encounters with the girls were unique only one time. They were spontaneous, like it happens in the film. We proposed on the spot to, to create a character. And maybe each encounter has one dramatic moment, but the magic of the editing comes from going through the material, finding these moments where there's like some, some there's levels, like there's maybe in the way they look or maybe the way they smile or maybe just in, in their silence. So finding these moments and they making putting them together to create contrast, to create surprise, to create mystery, tension, uh, and really building up a structure, building up one story from, I don't know, 25 different stories. So that's when, when the magic happened. At one point, there was also the scene with the mirror that you gave them a mirror and they had to tell. That was very confronting for me because you felt some part of their own stories. Can you say something more about that scene? Yes, actually, we don't call these interviews. We call them encounters because in an interview, usually it's only like a question and answer. But here, some of them uh, said that Alice loved to dance or to sing. And we said, would you like to sing or to dance? How you dance with her? So there was dancing going on. Some of them were... Uh, drawing pictures, some of them, like we had different uh, materials and we told them if they wanted to interact with some of these materials and the mirror was something that came up many times. 
And of course, when they are creating the story and then they see the, themselves, something very strong happens. And it's like, for us, the film is a mirror for the viewers. We can reflect ourselves in these girls, even though we have lived very different stories. In the end, it's stories about our families, about friends, about love, about pain. And we can all relate to this. Uh, we all have problems in our own families and in our lives. So we can reflect in these girls as they reflect themselves in, in Alice. Yeah. And you also have like a lot of everyday scenes, like the dancing. And at one point, they're cleaning or just living there. Why did you add those scenes as well? Uh, we needed, uh, like, we wanted to give a little bit more of context. Like if we stayed only in their in their sleeping room, uh, we we felt like people would ask a lot of questions. We wanted to to show a little bit more of the space. We think the space where they live is very important, like to create the atmosphere of the film. At the beginning, it's more the empty space, the loneliness. And as the film progresses, we see maybe two girls and uh, as it goes on, then we see like the, the collective and we see all of them dancing, all of them uh, together. And we also understand the importance of, of the community, of having the, the other girls uh, company. Uh, so that was very important for us and also to give time for the viewer to digest because it's a lot of words, a lot of talking. So we also want some moments of getting to know them more in their uh, natural state because when they're talking to us, of course, they, they change and they express different when they're talking with us and when they are with their, with their friends. Pick one thing that you want the audience to get from this movie. What would you choose? Uh, well, it's a very difficult question, but maybe there's one thing I would like the audience to to know, and that is we have a huge project with the girls uh, after the film. When we were making the film, even before when we were making the workshops, we saw how these workshops were very enriching for them because a documentary workshop, it's an excuse to talk about your life. You use the, the film, language but you have to when we propose them to make a documentary they start to 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 look at themselves and to to question their own lives and that's very enriching in their process but we wanted to do something more and we realized when they turn 18 or when they finish high school or when they escape that it's most of the cases they go from having everything they need uh, in the institution and maybe they don't have where to sleep that night and the decisions they make those first months after they leave the institution will define the rest of their lives and like they have to survive most of the times they don't make the right, right choices because they don't have opportunities so we partner with an NGO called Tiempo de Juego that have been working with this kind of population for 20 years and we're making a program from where they leave the institution that first year to, it's like a, an integral process, but the, the aim is that these dreams they have, becoming a president or a singer or a teacher, when they come out, these dreams fade, like they, they are so far away from their reality. So it's helping them to know which are the first steps they can give towards uh, that, uh, path. Uh, there's lots of workshops, le leadership workshops, there's uh, lawyers helping them, uh, psychologists, uh, and they get paid for taking part in this process. So because they need financial independence, that's, that's the most important. So we, we've been working for a year. The project is called Alice Exists. It's much more ambitious than, than the film. Uh, it's very nice because we, we keep in contact with uh, almost all of the girls and there's new people uh, coming into the into the process. So if anyone wants to know about this campaign and how to get involved in alice, alice exists.com, 
you can find more about the girls and the process we're making with them. When I hear this, you can really say that the movie changes their lives. Did you also see the, an immediate effect of the movie on them? I think I did. What I mentioned before about them feeling proud of themselves. Uh, usually they are part of a population that is invisible, that we don't want to look, that it makes us feel uncomfortable. Uh, so I think that for them being seen by people and seeing there is value in themselves and seeing other people also admire them uh, and not only feeling pity, I think it's very empowering for them. Uh, and I've seen the process, of course, each girl, it's a different world. Of course, it's not going to be easy, but I've seen like they're, like they they believe that life can be different and that's the power of imagination. If you can't imagine things can be in another way, then you won't be able to change your life. Many times we are not uh, happy with the life we're living, with our job, with our couple, with things in life, but we're also not able to imagine how it could be. And as long as we can't imagine how things can be, then it's very difficult that they're going to change. So I think that's uh, li like the most important thing of the film uh, for the girls and for us. Yeah, the power of imagination. Exactly. And I wanted to enter interview with the question, does Alex exist? But I think we already answered this through the website you just talked mm -hmm. about. So Yeah, maybe the, the best way to answer this question is using one of the girl's words. Uh, recently in an interview, a journalist asked her, uh, what do you feel towards Alice? And the girl answered like, toward the Alice of the film, I feel nostalgia because it's someone that it's not uh, here anymore. It's someone... I put a lot of things into, uh, but she's not with me anymore because now I'm building up another Alice, the one I want uh, to build and not the one I had to live. Uh, and I think that answer was uh, super powerful. And as the girls say in, in the film, most of the girls, I do believe Alice exists not only in Bogota, but all around the world. Okay, perfect. Okay, I want to thank you for taking the time to speak with us. And hopefully next time we will be in Belgium and we can meet face to face. That would be lovely. Thank you very much, Nina. I'm very happy the film uh, is there. I'm very happy that people are watching the film and I hope there's more opportunities in Belgium for the film to be watched. Thank you. Thank you for making it. <laughs>